What's up guys, this is Detox here, otherwise known as Andrew, and I am bringing you guys another Toxic Thoughts commentary today. As usual, I'm going to give a quick note on the gameplay before we get into the commentary today, which is actually going to be a pretty interesting topic that all you guys are going to be able to get into. Um, the gameplay here is going to be a second, is going to be the second half of a domination game on Raid, where, as you guys will see here, we're actually losing. Uh, I joined this game late, and we were losing in terms of, like the first half, so I didn't show you guys the first half because I did kind of bad. But the second half here, uh, I go on kind of a tear, and me and my team get our crap together, and you guys are just going to have to see what happens towards the end of the game. So, um, with the topic today, <clears throat> uh, with the the upcoming releases of the next generation console, I thought, you know, why not do a toxic thoughts on what I think of the next generation consoles so far. And obviously the two main contenders of the next generation consoles are the PlayStation 4, which is confirmed and that is the name of it, because they did have the press conference for two hours and I watched the whole entire thing, so I do have a lot of... I am informed about the PlayStation 4 and we'll put it that way. Um, the Xbox 720, which hasn't been confirmed, it has like no, like there's been no name set to it yet, but everybody's been calling it the Xbox 720, and that's kind of what it's been known as, or what the new Xbox Next Generation console is going to be aimed at. So I figured I'm just going to call it that throughout the duration of this video, since that's what's generally accepted, since we don't know the actual name of the console yet. So. Um, it seems that, especially with the release of the PlayStation 4 and the rumors that have been going around about next generation consoles, that community is going to be a big aspect in next generation consoles. Um, already, as we can see from the release of the PlayStation 4, social networking, uh, networking among people within the same game, having people play the game for you, having people help you out in games and things like that that you never had before, is going to be a, a huge part of next generation consoles and I feel that this is a step in the right direction um, as my generation which you know if you guys don't know I'm 18 so basically it's like the 90s like the generation of the 90s and up uh, we're very well even the 80s and a lot of older generations have gotten involved with it now I shouldn't you know just uh, discriminate against other generations because it's been such a widely involved thing but um, my generation in particular because we kind of set it off. We're a very connected generation. Um, there's so many social networking sites that we can use. There's so many, you know, different ways that we can access, you know, people just, you know, through the internet, through, you know, video games, through whatever. I mean, there's so many different ways that we could talk to people, you know, be around people, you know, talk to other cultures that we never would have been able to even know before just by uh, turning on a box and, you know, using a controller and, you know, playing a few games or something like that. Um, I think that it, it's a great step in the right direction, and with the release of the PlayStation 4, that's exactly what they're going for. It seems they're going for, like, this big community feel to it, but... Um, the only things that I have questions on with the PlayStation 4 that they didn't answer, but it, they wouldn't answer it because the 720 hasn't been released yet, so they're not going to answer it until they see what Microsoft has to put forward, but there are a few things that I want to know. I want to know, is the PlayStation Network still free? Is the netcode improved at all, so that way, you know, we have a reliable, you know, inter or a reliable network source, because as many of you guys know, which, you know, which is why you pay for internet for... Xbox that you know the internet on the Xbox is you know it's very very good the the internet is supreme on Xbox but PS3 has a lot of features to it that you know make it stand out as well and this is not going to be a console wars thing of which one's better and which one isn't because we know what is better in both consoles and we know what isn't better in both consoles and I'm not going to go over that in this video because I don't have enough time but if you guys would like to hear me talk about you know uh, the facts, not my opinions behind console, uh, consoles, uh, not my facts behind like PS3 and Xbox and things like that. I'm sorry, I think I just mixed up my words. Not my opinions on the PS3 and the Xbox, but the actual facts behind it and what research and what experts have had to say about the consoles, the hardware inside of the consoles, and what is provided within the consoles. If you guys want to hear stuff like that, please leave a comment below. I would be happy to talk about that kind of stuff, but if I do talk about that kind of stuff, I would really appreciate it. You know, if you guys kept the hate down to a minimum, I don't mind if you guys want to, you know, get into a polite argument with someone in the comments saying like, well, you know, I think that this might be better than this or whatever. I mean, that's totally acceptable. That's how the world goes around in terms of a community. Uh, we all have 
different opinions, but um, my video is going to be based around facts if I do that. Uh, we're nearing the end of the gameplay here, and as you guys can see, we kept the two flags, and we actually pulled ahead here in this game, which was, I was, I was ecstatic, because uh, I'm not very good playing by myself. I usually love playing in a party more than playing by myself, and I was so happy and so ecstatic to be able to, like, win a game and, like, come back and, like, put the team on my back, per se. But um, that's going to be the end of this commentary, guys. If uh, I'll probably make another one of these once the Xbox 720 comes out, uh, so that way I can get a comparison on those. But if you guys also want to hear my opinions on the current consoles, the PS3 and the Xbox, and will not do the Wii, uh, in terms of the facts behind the hardware and what's involved with it, uh, please leave a comment down below if you guys are interested in that. And, you know, as usual, guys, I will see you guys later, and have, an, have a great day.